a half a trillion dollars. That's how much the opioid crisis has cost so far. Nightside's Virginia Huey tells us about a report from the White House. The White House says the true cost of the opioid drug crisis in 2015 to you, the taxpayer, was a staggering $504 billion. In a report released today, the Council of Economic Advisors says the figure is more than six times larger than the most recent estimate in 2013. This crisis has been mounting for the better part of 15 or 20 years. Drug treatment expert Stephen Chasman says it's not surprising that a big part of the multi-billion dollar cost is attributed to health care. This is something we've been battling. He says inadequate inpatient stays for those battling opioid abuse are contributing to the costs. Over the last 10 years, we've seen insurance companies who have a fiduciary interest in limiting the amount of treatment stay. They are doing 5, 10, 15 days and then a recertification. So even what was uh, on the light side of a treatment stay has been cut short. So people aren't being adequately treated. The report says the opioid epidemic has also led to an increase in criminal justice spending and decrease in worker productivity. In a statement, the CEO of the Long Island Association said, quote, the opioid crisis is harming our families as well as our economy, and the White House's report is further evidence that we need a stronger, more collaborative effort to address this issue. Last month, President Trump declared opioid abuse a national public health emergency. Trump announced an advertising campaign to fight what he called the worst drug crisis in the nation's history, but he stopped short of directing new federal funding toward the problem. Drug treatment experts are hoping this White House report will change that. We're hoping that with the economic impact, with the human toll, that this will truly foster a national response that is adequate in measure to the crisis. And the White House report said that its cost estimate is significantly larger because the epidemic has worsened, with overdose deaths doubling in the past decade. More than 64,000 Americans died from drug overdoses last year. Macy. All right. Thank you, Virginia. Well,